Hey everyone, welcome to the Wood Gas Fire Builders Workshop. I'm Steve. So this video, we're going to talk about our hands-on workshops and kind of go through what we cover. Basically, our hands-on workshop is going to go through uh, how to build our V3 wood gasifier, as you see here. Now, we're located up in uh, Deer Park, Washington, and what we do is we offer two types of workshops. We offer what we call a dry build workshop. Uh, it's a four to five hour dry build where we go through uh, all the parts, assembly, sub-assemblies, and uh, dry fitting, and do a complete assembly uh, without any welding. But we do talk about the welding, structural welds, uh, critical welds, uh, basically everything that we need to do for it. Um, and then the second workshop that we're going to start off offering uh, after the first of the year is an actual hands-on welding so basically that workshop is going to be by the day. We'll use our welding equipment. If you've got welding and fabrication experience, you can come in and we'll actually work with you on uh, building the actual subcomponents here in our shop. You can take home with you. Uh, but today I'm just going to get, I'm getting ready to do a uh, dry build workshop. We've got a customer coming in uh, this weekend to pick up uh, a kit and uh, getting everything set up. So I just kind of want to uh, walk through what we do. So here's our V3 uh, fully built uh, wood gasifier. What we do in the shop here is we we set up and we show different things like on this table I've got all the off-the-shelf components and we walk through so it shows here what kind of paints we use, what kind of sealants, um, black pipe fittings, uh, valves, um, what we use for insulation, um, the cord insulation, the uh, wheels, the electronic components, the blowers that we import from China, uh, the great motors, um, the silicone connectors that we use to create uh, connect the different sub-assemblies, and then in the kits, how we have the, the nuts and bolts, uh, we've got the air, jack, uh, air jets, uh, we've got the diverters for the hearth fins, uh, we've got all the miscellaneous parts uh, for putting the sub-assemblies together. Uh, we also go through fuel, so we'll talk about the size of fuel, types of fuel, charcoal, making charcoal. So we'll go through that, and then we'll start going through the different types of uh, sub-assemblies. And actually, during the workshop, we'll fire up the gas fire, and we'll, we'll run it up and show the operation and how it works and how you can have clean gas and cold startup in about three to five minutes. Uh, so we'll typically start off, you know, we'll start off with a background on the wood gasifier. There's a downdraft wood gasifier. We'll go through the history. Uh, specifically on this design, we'll go through the Peterson design originally as it was published, and then how we got to our version 3, enhanced version of that. Um, and then we'll go, go into our newly released Wood Gas Fire Builders Workshop. Basically, everything we do in this workshop is covered in our book. Uh, we'll include a copy of this book with uh, people that attend the workshops. We'll include this with people that buy the kits, but basically this... Uh, book will give you everything you need to do to build our V3 wood gas fire. So we'll go through all the different sub-assemblies. Um, but basically what we'll do, we'll, we typically start off with the design and show, you know, the Peterson design originally as published in 2014 was based on using propane tanks. Uh, two 100-pound, 25-gallon propane tanks, one 5-gallon. Um, and then so we'll kind of go through here. Basically, these are the components. If you had the original builder's bible this is the parts and this is what you would end up building cutting the tanks and the internal pieces we just kind of show this now uh to to give some uh a light to the history of this design uh, but we don't build this anymore but we just basically show this is what the original version uses for parts we, we did away with the use of propane tanks propane tanks are dangerous uh, uh depending on what you use different dimensions and so on. So then we go into our own uh, housing. So here basically is a dry fit. We've got a reactor, lower housing, reactor upper housing, all the internal components. Uh, we'll go through how all these components fit together. Um, uh, then the um, heat exchange, how that fits on, all the different parts to the heat exchange. Um, then the filter tanks, the lower housing, the upper housing, on the external insulation covers that we use. Uh, so we'll kind of go through that. We'll show some, like in this case, we've got a partially assembled filter. So depending on what I've got in the shop at the time of the workshop, we'll kind of go through that and use it as an example. Like in this case, I've got a, a pre-built 
filter tank, so we'll kind of go through that and show the components on that, how everything's fitting together, the types of welds, leak testing, and so on. We go through the various uh, sub-assemblies, so see starting over here, on this table we'll start with the base, so we'll show you the base assembly, all the parts needed, so we've got the raw parts that are included in the kit, and then how the parts go together, we'll talk about the structural welds, how everything fits together, the components, uh, drilling the holes for the wheels. Then we'll move over to the cooling assembly, we'll show you the various parts, uh, how to weld, and the actual workshop book actually ties back to our, we've got videos, separate videos on each of these sub-assemblies, so our workshop book actually ties back to those videos so you can have a, a separate video for each one of these sub-assemblies like this cooling assembly here. We'll go through it, we'll talk about the welds, how to do it, any issues uh, in, in building it. Uh, in this case here, the filter basket parts, we'll talk about the parts, how they fit together. Uh, the gas exit assembly here, the different parts, how they fit together, uh, the cooling, excuse me, the condensate tube, uh, different parts, how everything fits together. And then here when we get into the air jacket and the hearth liner, we'll talk about that. You know, the basic air jacket you can have in 8 jets or 10 jets. Um, and then the hearth liner with these diverters uh, that go inside. And then basically here's a uh, an assembled hearth uh, with the hearth liner and insulation. Uh, the flare tube parts, so we give you the components to build a flare tube. So we'll go through each of these and then we get into other things such as uh, leak testing, so with the tools that you need to do leak testing. Um, as you're working with the uh, one of our kits, all the metal is already rolled, but when you, when you weld it together you may have to uh, uh, get it round. So these are some tools like we use straps, ratchet straps, uh, and things to uh, that we can use to uh, force the round. And here's a 3D model of the gas fire with a cutout section that we can reference during the training as well. Some of the various sub assemblies, like in this case here, we've got the reactor lid. Uh, we've got some of the lid brackets. We've got some of the blower flanges, kind of showing you those parts and how everything's fitting together. Um, and then lastly over here we've got the uh, optional hopper so here's a hopper parts or hopper you're able to build a hopper in three different sizes a 30 gallon 45 gallon or 60 gallon here are the different parts uh, that you can have included in a kit you can order this optionally when you order a kit or you can actually order it by itself here are the three different sizes so back there we've got the 60 gallon here we've got the 45 gallon here we've got the 30 gallon so you can see like in this case we're using the exact same lid brackets as we have on the reactor so we just have to unbolt unbolt the lid off the reactor put the hopper on move the lid to the top of the hopper so the dry fit we include with a purchase of every kit or you can just attend a workshop separately so if you haven't bought a kit but you're interested in the workshop give us a call and you can sign up and then basically if you decide to buy a kit later on down the road, we'll credit you the cost that you paid for the, for the workshop towards your kit. So uh, there's really little risk and attending a workshop is really uh, advised because it is a fairly complicated build. There's a lot of parts to it and there's a lot of issues. So we recommend that you either attend a workshop, buy the workshop book, or get online to our YouTube channel and watch all the different videos. All of the assemblies, sub-assemblies, parts, uh, actually a breakdown of all the kits, actually we have videos on all that on our channel. So, And that's for free, so you're welcome to get on the YouTube channel and look at the videos for any of that. And so I said, like I said, so if you're interested in the workshop, uh, give us a call. We schedule these by appointment, so there's not going to be a ton of people. It's typically it's a good one-on-one. -on -one. If you're interested in the hands-on welding workshop, give me a call. There'll be a prerequisite with that. You've got to have some welding and uh, fabrication experience and then that uh, workshop is just by the day. So if you want to work on one, one assembly or two assemblies or a complete build, you can do that workshop on you know, one day, two days or two weeks if you want, uh, depending on what you want. And then you can, uh, you can take the built components home with you. 
So anyways, guys, so here's, that's everything. Getting ready for this workshop. Uh, if you're interested in a hands-on workshop, give us a call. All right, guys, thanks. We'll see you on the next one.